And yes, yo friends, and welcome back to the Tozzy channel for more AU. We are going to watch the last little music video from the Lilac album, and that is the epilogue. Shortly after this, we will start getting into some of her live stuff, but we will complete the little Lilac album journey. Thank you so much to everyone in the comments of last week's video for letting me know this existed and <laughs> giving me more recommendations, more videos to watch and the live ones to watch and everything. Really appreciate having you along for the journey with me. Let's get into this epilogue. Gotcha. I like it, she's on the train. Yeah, there are no subtitles to be had on that, so I will have to make sure I uh, read and understand the lyrics, though just watching it without needing the words from that. I mean, we're giving off huge opium den vibes there, aren't we? Like the breathing out of the smoke and then the flowers forming out of it and then the whole shaded space and the tilting camera, the camera going on a Dutch tilt is all very much sort of that hallucinogenic, drifting through a day's kind of feeling that matches very well with that really beautiful bohemian look. The whole thing's bohemian, the beaded curtain, the colour of the wallpapers, the curtains over the windows and everything that's really giving off that bohemian vibe, that opium den vibe, that sort of drifting hallucinogenic vibe and then drifting backwards through the curtain. That's a really interesting choice, making it a beaded curtain instead of like a heavy curtain that would obscure her. Like stage curtains, when you disappear behind those, show's over. But behind something like a beaded curtain where, okay, she's separated from us, but we can still see her is an ellipses. There is yet more story to come. We're going to see her again soon. It's just going to be in a different manner because this we've left, but there's more to come. That's really beautiful visualization. Like now that I know, and thank you to everyone who's been informed informing me along the way that this is part of her age series and her farewell to her 20s that all plays into that idea and that makes perfect sense as the end of this story but not the end of her story. The train metaphor is lovely as well, the continuation of a story but always moving forward and heading to it towards another destination. It's really lovely. I really like the way she tells the stories. I really really like it. I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for telling me to watch that epilogue because that's just divine. And I'm looking forward to watching live things. So forewarning, just in case, anything that is on one of the music shows, so anything, Music Bank, M Countdown, Inkigayo, all of that sort of stuff, it can't be uploaded to YouTube because they block it. So I like 
quite literally can't upload it to YouTube, which is why I have Patreon. Patreon is where you can find all that content, everything that's on any of the music shows or performed at any of the awards shows because they tend to get blocked as well. I put on Patreon as exclusive content for Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to go check that out. IU will start appearing there <laughs> shortly because of course she'll have lots of stuff on the music shows that I won't be able to put up here. So she will be on Patreon. But thank you for joining me for more IU. I'm Sunny Dan, Sarengeo, and I will see you soon for more. Annyeong!